everyone. My name is Allison and I'm a teen librarian at the Schaumburg Township District Library and it's time for another episode of Lunch and Listen where I invite you to grab your lunch and sit back and relax while I share some young adult reading recommendations. In honor of Valentine's Day, today's video features young adult romance books. So let's get started. First up, is only mostly devastated by Sophie Gonzalez. Okay, everyone, I absolutely adored this book. It's an LGBTQ adaptation of the musical Grease, and it was both a delight and a complex story about a family going through a tough time and the different dynamics of coming out. The main character, Ollie, is a genuinely nice kid dealing with some hard stuff as his aunt battles cancer. While he is visiting his aunt for the summer to help watch his cousins, he gets a perfect summer romance with Will. As Ollie's aunt's health declines, his family decides to stay longer than just the summer. When Ollie tries to contact Will to share the news, he gets no response. A first day at a new school is never easy, but Ollie befriends a group of girls that will become his best friends. And when he goes with them to a party, he finds out that Will, Yes, that will, the perfect summer romance will, goes to his new school. There's only one thing. Will is a popular basketball star and not yet out of the closet. Flashback scenes of how they met and their summer romance throughout the story is a nice way to show Ollie and Will's relationship. Only Mostly Devastated will make you laugh out loud quite a bit, but it also will make you cry. Every single character in this book is unique and all around awesome. There is growth and friendship and romance. And honestly, it's just a fantastic book all around. All right. So the next book I'm talking about today is A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow by Laura Taylor Namey. This book is going to be for anyone that loves baking or enjoys reading about delicious food. But I will warn you that the descriptions of the food will probably make you hungry. I know it made me hungry. 17-year-old Lila, Lila Reyes is forced to spend her summer in England since her parents think it will help with her deal with the grief of her abuela dying, the shock of her best friend moving away, and the heartbreak of her boyfriend abruptly ending things. At first, she tries to find a way to get back to her family and their bakery in warm and sunny Miami as quickly as possible. However, her opinions start to change as she makes some new friends, starts to fall for Orion, a kind boy who becomes her unofficial tour guide of England, and gets to bake for her aunt's inn. A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow is a delightful contemporary romance that is also about dealing with grief and the importance of family. All right, next up I'm highlighting The Meet Cute Project by Rhiannon Richardson. So while I have not read this book yet since it just came out a couple weeks ago, it sounds like it's gonna be a really fun contemporary romance. So I'm gonna just read you the short description from the library catalog because that's exactly what got me to want to read this book. So here we go. High school junior Mia, who hates romantic comedies, must endure the meet cute encounters her best friend set up to help her find a date for her sister's wedding. So that short description sounds like rom-com perfection to me. Who doesn't love a good meet cute? And if you're not sure what a meet cute is, it's basically where two characters have an amusing, funny, or charming first encounter that eventually leads to a romance. And reviews for this book are saying that fans of To All the Boys I've Loved Before will also enjoy the Meet Cute Project. All right, so last but not least, this young adult romance book list wouldn't be complete without mentioning author Casey West, who has written more than 10 YA contemporary romances each one perfectly cute, full of witty banter and fun. To name just a few of her books, she wrote The Fill-In Boyfriend, which features the fake dating trope, By Your Side, where classmates get locked inside the library together and realize that rumors are rarely true, and Listen to Your Heart, where podcaster Kate starts falling for the guy her best friend also likes. All right, that's it for today's video of young adult romance reading suggestions. 
As always, the list of the books I discussed today, along with links to past Lunch and Listen videos, are in the description below. Make sure you tune in again on Tuesday, March 9th for some YA books that will provide magical escapes. Thank you all again for watching. I hope you have a nice afternoon and please stay safe. Happy reading! Thank you.